Today we'll talk about our final project. The final project we choose to participate in is the AR Cup. And this is our online. First, we'll introduce the goal of the competition. And then we'll go through the data reprocessing and model predicting. And also, we'll talk about the ensemble part and our final results. The main goal of the competition is the identification of the medical information. Since there are many privacy-related content exists in the conversation during medical behavior such as diagnosis, so our goal is to find out these private contents. And this is the definition of the identification. For example, the by sign in this sentence is a private content. So we want to find it out and replace it with a mark, uh, with a time mark. And the data preprocessing we've done is ILB token. Then the entity recognition and dealing with flowship character. First, we'll do the entity recognition. Original data are diagnosis dialogues and all private entities and their type exists in the dialogue were provided. In entity recognition, ILB token notation is widely used. We will mark non-private character as O. And as for the private data, except for the beginning character will be marked as B. Other character will be marked as I. In addition to this, we found out that there are full shape character in the original data. This will affect our performance, so we transform them into half shape characters in advance. After data reprocessing, we try some models to predict on the data, which are bird based model and bird CF model. Recently, BERT is the state of the art in the field of NLP, so we use it as our baseline. But we found out there are some problems of bird based model, so we try conditional random field method to do the improvement. Although BERT performs excellent in most of the case, but we find it has some uh, unreasonable output occasionally. For example, sometimes type of character in the predict entity will be different, or the end entity will lack a beginning token. Uh, these circumstances are not allowed. So we guess that, but we will not consider its output as context. As mentioned above, we hope that the output of the model can consider its context to improve F1 score. So therefore, we use CRF to train the transfer probability of IOP code token. For example, uh, we can see the conditional probability below. And knowing that the previous output is B, a B token, and then we will expect a greater probability that the next output is I, I token better. So the final prediction result is as reasonable as possible. After running the transform matrix through CRF, S1 score has improved slightly, but it is still uh, not expected. So for this reason, we observe the transform metric done by the CRF and found out that the transform metric was unreasonable and did not play its role. According to experience sharing on the internet and our guests, we think that it may be that but it's too easy to fit the training data and dominate the whole prediction process. Therefore, we increase the running rate of CIF and force the model to learn the transfer tra to learn the transition metric. As expected, F1 score has been significantly improved. And next part we'll talk about the ensemble part. And these are present pros and cons of the bird based model and bird safe model. The bird based model can identify, identify the real types, but it is poor in identify uh, in common types. The, while the bird CF model can fully identify common types, but it is poor in real type. In terms of the performance, the bird based model has better precision, while the bird, bird CF model has better recall. And hence, we decide to adopt an ensemble method, combining an advantage of both. After assembling, our public score is improved from zero. Uh, 0 0.74 to 0 0.78. Obviously, assembling is a successful strategy. In short, our flow can be represented as the chart. We preprocess the input and then cut and pad in a uh, part and pair to fix lens. After that, we train a bird based model and a bird safe model respectively. At last, we will combine the outputs of both models to be our final output.
after explaining our concept, let's go through our implementation detail. In Burpreacher model, we use a, a Robeta, and each dialogue is cut into units of uh, 512 words. And each word has a corresponding uh, ILB token as a label. And we construct the model use transformers and PyTorch. Uh, in a hyperparameter plot, we set Apple to uh, 80 and learning rate to 10 to the power minus 5, batch size to 2, max length to 512, and a total of 12, uh, a total of 2 hours for training. The bird pretrain model also uses uh, for the bird staff model, the pretrain model we also use is uh, Roberta. And for the staff part, we use the open source uh, transformer as a reference and modify it and use the output of bird as a feature vector of CRF. In the hyperparameter part, max sequence length is 512, batch size is 2. Bird learning rate is uh, 10 to the power of minus 5. CIF learning rate is 5 multiplied 10 to the power of minus 3. And these are our development environments. Since Birdbath and BirdSafe conflicted with each other in some development events, so we established two virtual environments in Anaconda to complete our project. And finally is our performance in the competition. And we can see as, as a baseline model, Bird got 0 0.74 in the beginning. And then we try Bird Safe model in different learning rate. And the model trained with higher learning rate got better performance. So hence we combine Bird and Bird Safe train model with a learning rate of a uh, five multiply 10 to the power of minus 3 to get, to get our final result. And thanks you for your listening.